All right, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our university's webinar series for content creators. Can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. I think my connection's a little bit unstable. I hope you can hear me. Uh, welcome once again to our webinar sessions. Today, we're on the fourth session of, of a six part series of webinars. For the first four sessions, we talked uh, you know, uh, about different topics. And today we're gonna be talking about uh, uh, using your hobbies content yeah how to turn your hobbies in content and once again with me is my host jello buen camino jello yes hey what's up guys thank you chase kamusta po kayong lahat sa mga nanonood na yon sa ating hashtag adobe university live stream na yon welcome and sit back and relax i am jello buen camino a host content creator and also your host on today's show ayan hello po sa mga nanonood so we have our today's show, which is part four, called Hobby Mo, Going Content Yan. Okay, pwede na ba yan? <laughs> pwede na yan. <laughs> so before we go to our discussion with another set of exciting and successful guests in the craft, let's do a short recap as to what happened in the previous sessions here on Hashtag Adobe University. Chase? There we go. I think there was some latency there. Uh, all right, so we were now on the fourth session for the past three sessions, just to give you a brief recap of what we discussed. Uh, for part one, we talked about deciding which platform is for you. So we had a guest from TikTok, we had a guest from YouTube, and a guest from Facebook as well. For part two, we talked about crafting or creating your content strategy. And also we had uh, platform heads coming from these different platforms like Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok as well. And then last Wednesday, we talked about how to produce content using basic equipment, your mobile phone without having to purchase expensive equipment and just using what you have on hand at home. So today uh, we've invited really, you know, really good uh, experts and, and uh, people who have turned their hobbies into content. We're gonna be introducing them to you in a little bit, but Jello, mm -hmm. would you like to uh, encourage our viewers to uh, watch the previous episodes or sessions on Facebook and YouTube? Yes, I'd like to encourage everyone sa lahat ng mga nanonood na yon sa ating live stream na to check our previous episodes of Hashtag Adobe University para malaman natin kung paano nga ba gumawa ng better content, di ba? So yeah, please watch that on Facebook and on YouTube. And I'd also like to ask you guys sa lahat ng mga nanonood for your expectations, your inquiries, questions, and your comments. So, sana mag-ingay po tayo sa comment section. Makikita po namin lahat ng mga sinasabi ninyo para makabuo tayo ng malaking discussion. At para masagot din namin yung mga tanong ninyo kasama yung mga host and our guests. And I know a lot of people are excited to hear from our exciting and successful guests on today's show. So, Chase, would you like to introduce them? All right, here we go. So we're gonna introduce our guests for this afternoon. I'm really, really excited because uh, we have really awesome guests today. Uh, a legit Super. celebrity, we have we have a cosplayer <laughs> and we have a gamer uh, uh, in our webinar session for this afternoon. So I'd like to introduce first Makoy Galope. It's a YouTube content creator at Makoy Galope Gaming Stream. Makoy, are you there? There yes, you go, hello. welcome to the show. Hi Makoy, welcome. Also, we have Chris Cantada of Chris Cantada Force. He is a cosplayer and content creator. Chris, are you there? Hello, Hi. it's Morphin time. Hey, there we go. <laughs> also known as Green Ranger. All right. And finally, we have AC Bonifacio. AC is an international celebrity performer and content creator. I don't think I have to introduce AC to a lot of people anymore because she's a well-known celebrity and pretty big on YouTube. AC, are you there? Yes, Bo. Hello, Bo. Hi, AC. Okay, so as you can, so kita nyo naman, our guests are really uh, big, they're, they're really good at their craft, and we're going to learn a lot from them this afternoon. Jello, why don't you talk to us about Adobers? Yes, so sa mga hindi pa nakakalam or bago pa lang sa Adobe Studios, um, Adobe Studios is a YouTube multi-channel multi network under ABS-CBN. It is the country's first and only YouTube certified multi-channel network. 
we also have programs such as Parasa, Bakit Ka Single, Bakit Nga Ba, <laughs> Unspoken Rules, and a lot more na pwede nyo abangan on Adobe Studios. Yes. So just as Jello said earlier, please comment and send us your feedback, your expectations, and what you would like to learn in today's webinar session. We would love to hear from you. Don't forget to use the hashtag that Jello mentioned earlier, hashtag Adobe University. Uh, for your comments, suggestions, and questions. Um, and uh, let's start with the first question. Let's get right into it and ask our experts and our content creators the first question. Okay, let's start with the first one. What made you turn your hobbies into content? So again, we have people, we have, we have somebody who, had, who, uh, who is a cosplayer, we have somebody who is a gamer, and somebody who is a dancer. Let's start with uh, Makoy. Makoy is a game uh, a streamer. Uh, and asking this question, what made you turn your hobbies into content? Kasi basically, uh, inborn na po sa akin yung pagiging gamer. So, <laughs> sa paglalaro, kasi parang dream ng lahat yun eh. Dream lang lahat na as they say na naglalaro ka sa bahay. Tapos you make profit out of it. So, napakalaking opportunity. Lalo ngayon na nagbo-boom sa Facebook, lalo na yung gaming. Dito sa Philippines, at malaki din yung audience sa mga cater ko. Since yun, naglalaro lang din, naglalaro lang din ako, nag enjoy din ako. Tapos what I enjoy the most is yung storytelling, di ba? Yun yung pinaka gusto ko sa paglalaro ko, nakakapagkwento ko, nakakapag-share ako ng aking insights. Then marami ka rin napapasayang tao, so which is good para sa akin. Kaya paano ko ba siya naging uh, profession, kumbaga, di ba? Kasi ano siya eh, mahirap siyang isipin, parang madaling sabihin na maglalaro ka lang, kumikita ka, nag enjoy ka na. Pero parang ano eh, ano yung pinagkaiba mo sa kanila? Ano yung magiging paraan para panoorin ka nila? Yun yung, pang, yun yung mga pressure para sa akin na marami na kasing nandyan eh. Maraming nanonood, maraming pwedeng panoorin. So, sino ko? Parang ano, parang ano, what sets Makoy Galope apart from other uh, Facebook streamers or streamers rather. Yun. Tama ba? Nasagot ko ba? <laughs> parang, parang sa bawat. Nasagot mo naman. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Makoy, uh, I'm just gonna go through some expectations that we gathered no, from our uh, comments here. Uh, one of them said that they want to uh, find out how you deal with failures. Another one said na, how the speakers dealt with pressure of making content out of their hobbies and tips about content creation for beginners uh, like this person who put their, their comment. So, um, Makoy, Kailan mo nalaman na you have a potential to actually be a, a game a game streamer and to really turn your hobby into something that you can stream on a regular basis online. When did it really cross your mind that you can you can turn this into something else? Kasi parang napapanood ko lang siya before and then ako natural na gamer. Bata pa lang hindi lang sa PC kundi lang literal na mapaglaro mga ganun. Yung kumbaga yung kabataan kasi ngayon is nandiyan na lahat eh. Ma-access mo lahat. So yung paglalaro na yon Paano bang naging, ano ba, yung pressure ba na maglalaro ka? Tapos yung opportunity kasi parang nag-boom nga siya ngayon since nag-open si Facebook ng uh, uh, careers or streaming partner. Kumbaga kasi sa, sa Facebook po kasi there's uh, partners and level up program. So nag-open si Facebook ng partnership program para sa mga uh, gustong mag-stream, gustong gumawa ng content out of it. So yun, dun ko nakita yung opportunity na ah, pwede pala, pwede pala ako mag-start as a... Uh, uh, content creator bilang uh, gaming streamer. Tapos yung pressure naman dun na kinakarap ko on my hobbies, yung halimbawa eh, may time kasi, may time kasi na may term sa gaming na umay. Ganun, eh. May term sa game na umay. So parang sa akin, dumating din po ako dun na uh, yung sa nilalaro ko like GTA 5, ayan, GTA 5, hello po sa GTA 5. GTA 5 yung nilalaro ko which is a role playing siya. Usually kasi sa role playing, sa nilalaro ko po, konting background sa nilalaro ko, uh, parang we act na kami yung characters dun sa game. So ibig sabihin, uh, kung ang characters mo, kung ang character mo dun is a uh, gangster, kung ang character mo dun is matanda, baby. So pwede mo siyang i-portray, parang you have the creativity to create your uh, content. Kung baga, free ka kung sinong gusto mong maging. Pwede ka rin maging gang leader, pwede ka rin maging police, pwede kang maging uh, mechanic, pwede kang maging doktor. So yung kinaganda ng role play na nilalaro ko is uh, na, nakadepende sa akin lagi. Kapag may burn out, siguro pahinga, off stream ng mga isa ang araw, dalawang araw, tapos 
uh, isang araw na hindi nakatapat kay computer para lang bang ano uh, ma-refresh ulit yung utak mo. Yun po. <laughs> okay. Meron ba nag-inspire siya? Kasi for me, ang first exposure ko with a, stream, a game streamer is PewDiePie. Mm. So, I don't really play, I don't really play a lot of uh, computer games. You know, I'm not really, I'm not really a gamer. Um, pero, did anybody inspire you to become a streamer like you're doing now? Sa streamer, actually, hindi ko po talaga nakita yung sarili ko na mag stream ako. Okay. Nakita ko lang sarili ko na naglalaro. Gusto ko lang, actually, pinland ko siya, nagawin lang siyang for YouTube content. Hindi ko alam na abot na magkaroon ako ng uh, platform, na sariling platform or Facebook para ma-share ko yung knowledge and talent ko dito sa streaming. Yung nag-inspire siguro sa streaming, hindi ko talaga alam kasi wala akong maisip na nag-inspire para sa akin mag-stream. Pero I've watched uh, PewDiePie na naglalaro, lalo na sa mga YouTube. Naglalaro sila. Tapos yun. <laughs> yun na siguro. Sa, stri- sa inspiration po on streaming, wala talaga. Parang nagulat okay. na lang din ako. Biglaan, dumating, and then go. <laughs> I have more questions for you. Uh, balikan kita mamaya. Let's move on to another hobbyist. And she is a really popular dancer. She has so many videos that have millions of views online. AC Bonifacio is joining us today. Uh, hello. Yung fans, by the way. AC, hello. Welcome to the show. Uh, hello, hello. What turned... Ooh, okay. What turned your hobby into content? What made you decide to turn your hobby into content? Um, well, I've been dancing since I was three. So I've been dancing since I was a baby. And see, mommy, lagi siya nagsashoot. She's always taking a video of everything that I'm doing. And she always said she would upload, she always would upload it on YouTube because that's where it's, she says it's safe the most because if you put it on a hard drive, baka mawala. Because she always <laughs> puts it on YouTube. So all of my videos are on there. And there were people who started to see it and they started to become fans. And then I started to like, you know, like having people comment and, and encouraging me more. And at the same time, I like inspiring them because I'd see their comments and they'd be like, I'm dancing now too because of you. I'm joining competitions now too. I'm doing dance classes. And so I noticed with mom's videos that was working. So I said, what if I start making my own videos? What if I start um, posting tutorials, doing challenges, showing dance covers, and let's see what happens. So I kept doing that, and then that's how it, it just became and a thing. look at you now, oh, dancing uh... on ASAP. We see y'all every Sunday on ASAP. Um, thank you, thank you AC. We're going to ask more questions. Uh, uh, um, okay, now we have a dancer, we have a game streamer, now we also have a cosplayer. In our session this afternoon, we have Chris Cantada of Chris Cantada Force. I really thought your last name was Force. I'll call you Mr. Force from now on. Um, okay. Chris, how did it turn into a? Uh, how did your hobby turn into content? Uh, uh, how big of a cosplayer were you prior to becoming a content creator on YouTube? What What was your history like? Um, like uh, the reason why it's called Chris Cantada Force is because all my life I've been a Star Wars fan. Like even my tattoos, they're all Star Wars, and uh, that my first cosplay was a stormtrooper when I was probably after college. But this whole thing, this whole magical thing of uh, content creation, YouTube, was out of my mind. As in, uh, my background is music. I I, I was the drummer for this uh, indie band called Sponge Cola back in the day. Okay, of course. Yes. And uh, and music was my was my life. But aside from that, uh, I was a geek, just like what Mokoy said, playing games and uh, just watching uh, like geeky stuff. And uh, I decided to uh, buy my first non Star Wars cosplay. And I wanted to make it a Power Ranger. Because at that time, it was like the 20th anniversary of Power Rangers, like seven years ago. And then I, when I got my costume, I figured it wouldn't be complete if I didn't do a, a morphing sequence on video. Like with my phone, with iMovie, like a 10-second to 30-second video. And then that made my day now. Like doing its morphing time civilian and then i transform into my costume that was wow that was so fun and then after that i just became you know i, I played drums but i i played drums for Karel. i i 
session drums. I taught drums. Talaga music, music was my life. And then I, I was like thinking, hmm, whatever happened to that video? And I went back to YouTube and then it just blew up. And then I made a second one, same thing. And then I decided just to set me apart from every other uh, person there who's just doing morphing videos. I added stories now. So that's how it all began. That was like, wow, seven, six or seven years ago. And then I've been doing it wow. ever since. Really interesting. No? Parang music and then all of a sudden you went into creating videos of your hobby, which you know doesn't really have anything to do with music. But I haven't, are I we haven't going touched, to see... I haven't touched a drumstick for three years now. Are we going to see any music-related content in the future? Is that in the horizon? I'm also a fan of K-pop, so there were two. <laughs> I have two videos that I actually I actually dance. Me too. I actually dance K-pop in two of my videos in What's Power song? Ranger. Uh, awesome. Mom- Momo Land, the, her their first single, the Jang something something, and. The second one was chicken noodle soup because <laughs> Becky G Becky G is a yellow ranger, so I I, I kind of connected it. So yeah. Okay. Ah uh, yes, a uh, really good history. I think. Uh, thanks for showing us the background. I would never have thought about, uh, you know, you being in music. Um, are we gonna go through shoutouts, Muna Jello, or next question? Shout yes, let's Muna. go. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right, so we're moving on to the shoutouts, guys. So we namin lahat mga comments in sa baba. We're all reading that. Okay, so let's go through them. Uh, sabi ni Magpantay Joshua, we love you, Kuya Makoy Galope. Wow, <laughs> much love. Okay, thank you for watching, Jude. Uh, Joshua, sabi naman ni Jude Lano Riasgo, AC, we love you from hashtag ACN Davao. Wow, okay. Hello, mga AC Natics and all of AC Natics watching. What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in. Keep commenting. And yeah, welcome to the show. And sabi naman ni Boz Carson, Go, Chris. I love your contents, Mr. Force. <laughs> okay, thank you, Was, for commenting. And we'll go through more shoutouts later throughout the show. So keep commenting below, guys, and we'll see all of them. Awesome. Okay. Uh, for my next question, so I just want to preface it by saying that, you know, I think uh, today we see that uh, a lot of times uh, our hobbies, whether it's geeky or nerdy or not, I think um, it's it's become clear that if you're a nerd about something, if you if you're a uh, a geek about something, it's it's no longer something to be ashamed of. Like in my generation, if you were really nerdy about you know Star Wars, it wasn't really uh, such a mainstream thing to become. But uh, my question for the uh, for the group today is, how did you start turning your hobbies into content? Like you really wanted to share something that you were good at, uh, you know, to the wider world, to share it to a bigger audience by putting it up on Facebook. Could you share with us your experience na, you know, parang ayoko na siyang, you don't want to just keep it to yourself. Your mom keeps uploading it on YouTube. Sabi ni AC, uh, it just used to be like a video that you, you, you had in your phone. Sabi ni, uh, ni Chris. Pero paano siya naging uh, uh, malino sa'yo that you actually wanted to share this hobby to a bigger audience? Let's start with Makoy. Can you share with us your experience? Uh, siguro kasi sa akin, uh, nagsimula rin talaga po ako ng uh, uh, as in zero, zero viewers dun sa stream. Talagang naranasan ko yung kausap ko lang yung sarili ko. <laughs> kausap ko lang yung nanay ko, yung cellphone ko. Ako lang pala yung nanonood. Uy, merong isa! Merong isa! Shoutout sa'yo! Walang nga. Ako lang pala yun. <laughs> ako lang pala yun. Pero dun po ako nagsimula. Then, siguro, uh, sabi nila kasi di ba hard work. Hard work lang lagi. Pero... Sinama, kailangan mo rin samahan ng tarino eh kung paano sila makakapanood sa'yo. Kailangan mo rin samahan ng diskarte. Kasi sabi ko nga kanina, marami na nag stream ngayon. Paano nila panonoorin yung sa'yo? Kailangan meron kang uh, pagkakaiba sa kanila na talagang malalaman mo na, ay bago to, ah, gusto ko itong panoorin. So nung unti-unti, nagkaroon ng kakaunting viewers, nagkaroon ng 20, 10, 50, tapos na-appreciate nila yung uh, content na nilalagay ko. Kahit sampu lang sila, basta solid sila sa aking nanonood. Yun yung pinaka-importante po sa akin eh. Kahit konti lang kami dyan, basta solid kaming nanonood. Tapos, mapapasa naman nila yun eh. As time goes by, mapapasa naman nila yung mapapasa naman nila yung opportunity na makapanood sa akin, na magkaroon ng 
chance na mabati sila kasi mas maganda po kasi para sa akin yung streaming kasi yung communication napakabilis. Pwede kang mag-shout out in an instant na sabihin mo lang yung pangalan nila. Yung napakabilis para sa amin yun. Tapos uh, pwede ka rin makipag-interact ng mabilis. So, yun po. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, what about you, AC? Ako po, I think it's because I kept making content because it became a passion of mine. Um, I really loved what I was doing because aside from inspiring them, they were also inspiring me at the same time to keep doing it. So that's why I just kept going. Great. Uh, Chris, you said that you just had that video, right? That you hid for uh, a long time and then you just decided to put it up on YouTube. But uh, is there any more to that story? Like, how did you really start turning video after video after that initial video that you produced at the beginning? How did it turn into content <laughs> after content? From the start, I just wanted to do these geeky videos for myself. And just like what AC said, I just uploaded it so that it's there. It's safe. And then what really the, the, the changing or the, the, the one thing that changed everything was I, as a geek, I love going to conventions, comic cons. So I went one to in the States, uh, like maybe a few months after that first round of videos and then these american blonde kids like literally were saying chris cantada running to me and i'm wow. like whoa <laughs> american kids you know like i i wouldn't have thought that my audience would come from other countries and then when that happened i figured wow uh this is this is pretty cool and then i just decided to uh pursue this like full time uh, after that because uh, i had fun doing it but just to see other people having fun telling me that they're having fun watching it as well mm -hmm. it kind of gives you motivation to uh do a good job something like that that's i think that's a really good you know epiphany that you had no parang it pala sa US yung content when you actually have a following in the US. Actually, um, my how, my following is primarily in the US. In the US. Yeah, because nga, like the, the whole the whole style of what I do, kasi, it's uh, well, it's all it's English for one, and Power Rangers is such a big thing mm -hmm. in the states. So uh, like, I, I'm sure when I started out, Philippines was like my 10th country like i say you can see it there. you wow. can see your analytics yeah now i'm happy that it's like four <laughs> but one is still us and then second weirdly enough is vietnam All vietnam okay <laughs> interesting how about your ac like when did you start uh realizing that you you have a wider audience than you expected um i know that there's a lot of ac natics joining us this afternoon no? and it's a really big fan base that you have but when did you realize that you actually have a really big audience um i don't hmm. i guess i realized it because i'm originally from canada and i moved here five years ago i guess that's when i really started to realize it when i was on tv now here because in canada i'd just be posting dance videos all the time from training or dance classes but when i got here that's when i like I'd walk out of ABS and people would be running and they'd be like, AC, AC. And I'm like, me? <laughs> Are you sure? Because like, I'd, I'd never like felt like there was such a big audience on me, but that's when I really felt it. And, you know, I don't really consider them an audience at the end of the day. They're still my family. Like I personally know a lot of my AC addicts and I hang out with them when I can after shows. So, yeah. Hello. Great. Nice. Jell, let's, let's go through our shout outs. All right, yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Keep commenting down below so we'll see all of them. Okay, sabi naman ni Marl, Dominic, Guyang, Giang. Um, ano ba ang dapat gawin ng mga beginner dancer, kagaya ko? At pwede na po ba ako gumawa ng channel or YouTube channel? Hmm, okay. Uh, Maybe so for AC? Uh, AC can answer this, yeah? Um, as a beginner dancer, I think it's best to take, of course, take classes and do training. And especially right now, you can do a lot. There's Zoom classes. I take Zoom classes 
when I have time, I dance in my little, little teeny tiny room with my tiny mirror because, you know, anything's possible if you really want to do it. So just take classes, take tips, YouTube videos. There's dancers who are making content also. So you just, just look for videos. And of course you can start a channel. I'm pretty sure you can do, you can post what you're learning from your Zoom classes. You can post anything. Yeah. <laughs> and that was, okay. a, that was a question from Norman, Norman Tando. I want to ask that question, that, that same question to Makoy. Makoy, because gaming is a really expensive hobby. Uh, to start with, you have to really invest in your, your, your gaming machine. You have to have mm. a really good GPU. If You have to have a really good connection and everything. So same with, with uh, cosplaying as, as well as I think parang, you know, these hobbies, they take a lot of money, right? You, you need to have enough investment to really unfortunately yes yes yeah. of course. so what's what's your advice makoy for our gamers who would like to begin you know uh streaming online anong, anong mm. ha, uh, uh, advice mo sa kanila first kailangan syempre magsimula tayo dun sa may technicalities yung kailangan meron kang internet connection na napakabilis <laughs> uh computer na merong uh, pwedeng i-process yung streaming while gaming and then ano pa ba Ayun, siguro yun yung basic, yung dal- dalawa ngayon. Tapos yung pangatlo kasi, yun yung tinatawag kong personality. Kailangan mo rin kasi ng personality. Hindi lang pwede na, ay marunong ako maglaro, magaling ako maglaro, magal- malakas ako maglaro. Dapat meron ka rin personality na mamahalin ng tao. Tapos kung kailan ka magsisimula, ngayon na. Kung nar- nanonood ko ngayon, tinatanong mo kung kailan ka magsisimula mag-stream, ngayon na. Ngayon na mamayang gabi pagkatapos ito, simula muna ngayon. <laughs> yun lang po. <laughs> okay. How about, And you, uh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Um. Okay. So we have another right. question from Norman Tan. Question po for AC. Do you choose your contents based on your audience? On which type of contents are most viewed? Or just let it out like whatever comes into your mind at the moment. Ito yung gagawin kong video. Ito yung i-upload ko. So how do you do it? I think it's really anything because I upload once a week. And yeah. sometimes that gets hard too. Um. But it's really anything. People comment down below my videos and they suggest videos that they want me to do. And of course, there's those new challenges that come like every week. So there's those things. And I also like I have a team with me where we collaborate on ideas. So yeah. it's really everything because there's so much things to do. Mm-hmm. So there's there's really it's really just anything. Okay. And cool. I'm going to ask that question to, to Chris now. Chris, you, earlier you, you mentioned about analytics. So you look at uh, uh, where your audiences actually come from. So, you know, Philippines, Vietnam, and the U.S. Does that influence your decision-making process on what kind of content you're going to produce um, so that you, you, you maximize your views perhaps or, you know, any, any objective you would like to achieve? No, I just... Uh, first and foremost, I still create stories that... I would want to watch myself, mm-hmm. something like that. But uh, there is, I know it's hard eh, because if you you try not to get swayed as much by what people want of you, it has to be balanced with also what you want to do because it is your channel. You're sharing yourself. And uh, maybe like, like there's like a little inkling that you ha- there's a comment somewhere there that says, why don't you try doing this? I like this. And then somehow you kind of inter- interject it into the storyline just so that, you know, everyone's happy. But I guess if I don't like, if I wouldn't watch it or if I wouldn't think the story is good, uh, I, I won't do it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, I want to go back to Makoy. No, Makoy, you have a very uh, distinct personality. Sa mga stream mo, I, I don't know how to describe it. Pero you know, it's it's a very distinct. Have you guys seen Makoy's streams and his videos on YouTube? It's a very yeah. clear um, personality. Hindi ko alam paano i-explain. Makoy, pwede mo explain sa mga viewers natin kung ano yung personality ng character mo that you're portraying in your stream. Dude, so, syempre, shoutout ko muna yung mga solid kapangalagay. 
yung lahat. Hello po sa inyo lahat sa mga solid kapag ako sa mga kanina pagpapashout at mamaya na lang tayo sa stream natin. Hindi <laughs> ko kayo maisa-isa. Thank you sa inyo. Uh, para po sa mga hindi po kapanga o kung gusto nyo mo panood ng content ko on uh, Facebook Gaming, uh, kagaya nga po na sinabi ko kanina, I do role playing. So yung karakter ko po doon si uh, Alejandro Tagalog. So sa karakter ko po na yun, iba po si Alejandro Tagalog. Iba rin po yung boses niya, iba rin po yung karakter niya. Tapos mayroon po siyang uh, iniirog. Ang pangalan ng iniirog niya si uh, Pia Khalifa. So si Alejandro Tagalog kasi parang nanggaling siya sa probinsya mula sa Pilipinas. So ina-assume kasi namin sa gameplay na lumipat kami sa Los Santos which is the GTA 5. So si Alejandro Tagalog yung uh, uh, talagang panibago sa lugar na merong kahati na yung uh, naging nobya niya or girlfriend niya is meron ng anak na si Luisa Khalifa at tatay niya si Senior Api Khalifa na ilusot ko sila. <laughs> na ilusot ko sila. Tapos yun po, uh, si Alejandro Tagalog, may distinct talaga siya na personality. Kung ako magsasalita siya, malalim siyang managalog. Parang alimbawa, uh, magandang, uh, magandang buhay po sa inyo lahat. Ako nga pala si uh, Alejandro Tagalog. Uh, ang inyong lingkod. At uh, kamusta kayong lahat dyan? At uh, wag na wag kayong, uh, wag na wag kayong lalaya. Si Shem nyo lang tong stream natin. Yo po. Yo, so ibang iba siya. So meron kang karakter na pinanggagalingan, meron kang uh, parang pumasok ka sa ibang mundo na ikaw lang yung nakakaintindi. Pero sama-sama kayong mga sira ulo doon na nagpapanggap na pulis, nagpapanggap na doktor. So yun po yung nilalaro ko doon. Yun po yung ano, yun po yung nangyayari doon sa role play na ginagawa po namin. Yeah, and so super benta siya kasi parang I think it really makes your streams a lot more interesting. Hindi siya masyad, hindi boring kapag kasi kapag walang character, diba, it gets really boring yes, just watching a person play a game. Eh? So, you really try to mix it up there by being different characters. Speaking of shout-out, Jello, I think we have several shout-outs, uh, especially yes. for Makoy, no? Yeah. We have a lot of shout-outs, guys. Keep them coming. Sabi ni Marl Dominique Giang, hope that AC can notice me. <laughs> Hi, Marl! <laughs> yeah, and hey, Marl, what's up? Sabi naman ni Mika Talavera, Kuya Makoy! Love you. <laughs> Hi, Mika. Makoy loves you also. Sabi naman ni Nadas, Kalus Kevdisius. Okay. Woo, okay. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Hype na hype si Nadas. I think your last name, you're from Power And Rangers I'm also. I'm not sure. <laughs> he, sounds, he sounds Eastern European. I don't know where, where that yeah. name came from. <laughs> so, yeah, thank Eastern you guys European. for tuning in. Uh, keep the comments coming, guys, and we'll keep reading them. Okay. So, we're going to in Europe. Okay. Next question. Uh, by the way, keep keep sending us your questions and your comments. That we're going to read them out loud as they come along. Uh, if you have any questions you would like to direct to a particular guest, uh, let us know as well, and we'll read them out for you. But our next question for this part of the conversation is: How do you avoid? burnout when creating your content of course you know it's it's a very singular hobby a very singular topic you may keep creating content for dancing for gaming for cosplay how do you make it interesting for yourself uh, to try to avoid burning out let's start with chris um with my type of content like i guess 90 percent of what i do are uh story narrative skits like fan films, as I, I call them. So, uh, based on what I've been doing for the past few years, I like to shoot a lot of stuff, a lot of stories, maybe in a span of a month. Uh, uh, and since I also upload one video a week, I haven't missed a week for like six years, which I'm so proud of. I Like, you need that consistency. So I... I shoot a lot in like three to four weeks. And then that, uh, that footage from that month will last me maybe five to six months. So mm. I can't, I, I, when, when I sense that I'm burning out, it's because of that one month, three to four weeks of shooting. But the five months after that, it's just like editing. But editing the month, it's not so not so vicious as the the filming process uh so yeah during those five months four to five months of not shooting it's pretty it's pretty great <laughs> so it's like you know netflix and stuff because i already i already shot my uh 
content for that long. And if there is like something like a movie that comes out, because my content is based on, you know, pop culture, superheroes. When movies come out, I make a skit. So what I do in those three to four weeks of shooting ahead, they are the evergreen types of videos, mm-hmm. which means any time of the year, you can watch it. But if there's like a movie coming out, let's say Captain America or Captain Marvel, uh, I, I shoot a one-off during one of those months and then I release that first. And then the schedule keeps on going. Now, I haven't gotten to experience that during this quarantine. So, talagang, during this quarantine, it's been uh, a, a week. I, I take it a week at a time. Because I shoot with a crew, eh? like a, th- a three-man camera crew with my stunt team and all my actors. But obviously, that has halted uh, for the past few months. So it's been back to me, myself, and I with mm-hmm. me and my little camera. So uh, yeah, it's been it's been a uh, it's been a, kinda hard going back to that way of shooting because I've been used to like a lot of people helping me now. But you have to think about that's how we all start Naman alone with the yeah. camera. So it, it was kind of a, a hard thing to do again, but I, I know for a fact that I started there, so it shouldn't be a problem. That's a really good strategy. You know? So evergreen versus event-based, right? So evergreen, you can watch any time of the year. It's still relevant regardless of um, what holiday or what time of the year it is versus event-based, which might depend on the opening or release of a movie exactly. or, uh, you know, uh, an event happening at a certain period of time. Uh, we can, you can, anybody can use that when deciding to create content. It can be part of the planning of your content. Um, what about AC? Do you ever get burned out uh, creating content? I don't think I've had like a major burnout, but sometimes it is healthy to take breaks. To just breathe and remember you're human sometimes but um i did start with just dance content but then eventually some people get tired of the dance content and i started expanding and i got into singing um i started vlogging and like doing my personal life showing them where my personal life and vlogging when i'm at work or when with my friends so yeah i kind of just do whatever people ask for how about Makoy? Makoy, do you get burned out? Yes, of course. Lahat na ba po siguro. Siguro sa akin po yung technique ko para hindi po ako nababurn out. Kasi magdamag ka ng maglalaro. Sa stream ko po usually nag span po 7 hours to 12 hours. 12 hours oh. yung pinaka-maximum ko. 7 hours yung ano. Uh, minimum talagang nag-require na pag nag stream ako. So, pagkatapos noon, pahinga, hindi mo na maglalaro. Tamang nod-nod lang ng mga YouTube content. Tamang strategize lang kinabukasan kung anong gagawin. Yun po. Sa part naman ng nilalaro ko po para maiwasan mo rin yung burnout, eh, meron po kasi sa amin na gunplay and uh, story or drama roleplay. So before na nag start ako puro gunplay, which is barilan. Barilan lang yung ginagawa namin. Tapos na-burnout talaga ako doon as in tinigil lang ko maglaro, tinigil lang ko yung laro. Tas, tapos parang ang bigat sa pakiramdam. Kaya pala mabigat sa pakiramdam kasi paulit-ulit yung ginagawa ko. Kumbaga dapat meron kang, ano, eh, meron kang something new na magpapa tuwa sa iyo na magpapabilib sa iyo ulit na magpapa-amaze sa iyo ulit para makabalik ka dun sa dati mong uh, passion kung bakit ka nandun ulit yun po okay uh, we have questions here coming from our audience from our participants no? so question for AC Justin K is asking do you also think of creating dance tutorials on your YouTube channel I do and I do teach classes I teach classes from time to time I've, I've gone around the world teaching but um it does get hard doing tutorials because tutorials are like an hour long and i don't my wi-fi is not good enough to upload an hour long video but um i will go live maybe and teach a few classes but i'm i do choreograph and i do teach sometimes but sometimes i'm also i don't think i'm at the point where i can you know i'm like still trying to learn myself Mm-hmm. So that I can gain all the knowledge and then eventually let it out. So I'm waiting. 
That's good. Take your time. You're only 17. Um, question oh, well. for Chris. Uh, from this guy named The G. Very interesting name. He sounds like a villain. The G's asking, how do you plan for your content? We love how you put so much effort to your videos. Yeah, it really shows in the production value. Um, but how do you plan for it? Uh, yeah. He's asking. Um, so before filming during those, uh, let's assume it's not quarantine. So prior to filming all these videos in that three to four week span, uh, I have I have a scriptwriter who helps me uh, formulate these stories. He's also uh, a fan of, of of all the stuff I like. Uh, so we figure that out, and then we uh, then I go I, I pick which stories will have a a fight scene because you know Power Rangers superheroes. There's gonna be a certain interest for you know martial arts and all that so i figure which one of those videos will have a fight scene so if i'm fighting with captain america that will kind of look good if it's the white ranger versus you know some of the avengers and then again just like what i said before i filmed all of those uh, skits in one go in a span of a few consecutive weeks and then during the production and during the actual shooting, I have, every, I have a lot of people who help me. But I still edit everything by myself mm -hmm. just to let me feel that it's still my video, yeah, if that makes sense. Just to, make, just to feel that I have a handle on the style and the flow of the actual video. Right. So that's the one that takes the time uh, talaga if I want to make it really, you know, as, as nice as I can. Because yeah. as I said, my, my background is audio, not video. So I try to still make it uh, amateur-ish looking to a point uh, just so that people can feel na, oh, if Chris can do this, yeah, you know, I, I can do it also. Because I feel if I, I like that, if yeah. I make if I cross that barrier to, you know, VFX galore, all that stuff, mm. that's when people will start, uh, you know, I feel people will start criticizing now because, oh, yeah. why did you, why did, why did you use yeah. this visual effects? Why did you use that? So I feel like staying in this uh, amateur-ish, but nice, nice naman in a way, yeah. is safe. Uh, for obviously for me because I'm editing, I can't do visual effects that much. Uh, but I also like the fact that because I told you my audience, they're mostly in the the kid, the teens. So if they can feel that they can do stuff like this as well, that, that's actually great. I, I I I like hearing I like hearing those stories. I like that principle, no, because. If it becomes overproduced, just like I think any uh, any budding um, actor or musician uh, who who joins the you know the game and they become all of a sudden super popular, and their music becomes overproduced, you can really tell it's it's, it's no longer the same flavor or the same uh, kind of appeal that they used to have when they were starting out. You know, so I like that you keep that you keep that flavor, but in that it's it's still something that people can achieve on their own. Yeah. Um. What about for uh, Makoy, question for Makoy from John Aris Lopez. Sabi niya, sa gaming po kasi, di ba, from time to time may mga bagong games na nire-release. Do you have to stream every new games din ba? Or okay lang ba na mag-stick ka sa game na gusto mong laruin? Dun sa first question na, do you have to stream every game na marirelease? Okay lang din naman. Choice mo rin naman yun. Kung baga, bigyan mo din yung sarili mo ng break dun sa usual na nilalaro mo. Okay lang din naman na mag-stream nga ng mga bagong laro. Pero sa akin, kung saan ka masaya, kung saan ka nag enjoy lagi mong tatandaan yung dapat ikaw yung masusunod dun sa content mo. Hindi pwedeng yung viewers mo yung masusunod or yung mga taong na, 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 nakasuporta sa'yo. Kasi kung naniniwala ko kasi kung sinusuporta nga talaga nila, kung ano nilalaro mo, kung saan ka nag enjoy nandun sila. So, yun po. True. Ayos, okay. Uh, Jello? Yes. 
Um, all right, so we're going through the shout outs right now. So let's go through them, guys. Jason Ramirez says, Idol Kita Chris, I always watch your videos. What's up, Jason? <laughs> hey, what's up, Jason? Thanks for tuning in. We have Christine Shane. Notice us from ACN Davao. Ooh, hello. Hey. Hi, Christine hello. and ACN hello. Davao. Thank you for tuning in. Hi, guys. <laughs> We have Marie Chris Condino. Sabi naman ni Marie Chris, "Whoa, love you, Kuya Makoy." <laughs> thank you, thank you, love you. Much love, guys. Let's keep spreading the love. Uh, we have June Lanurias. Thank you for having AC. Yes. All right. All right. Tuwa naman. We have we have viewers all the way uh, from Davao. I wonder. I wonder how far uh, you know our our webinars and East uh, Europe. Are. <laughs> yeah. In Eastern Europe, I will, let's ask that guy you know who commented. I forgot his name though. With that you know very difficult hey, spelled ne name, ne Nidas or Nedas. Where are you from, bro? Uh, let's find out where he's from. Can you please comment to us so we can you know let us know. <laughs> we can find out. Um, all right, let's uh, keep discussing. You know, I think this is a really good conversation we're having. I, I wish we had a lot more time. We have 15 minutes left. But the next question is. Um, do you think turning your hobby into content affects how you enjoy it? May effect ba yung, you know, yung, kasi it's still work, di ba? You try to turn it into a profession. Um, but does it actually, you know, impact uh, the way you enjoy gaming, the way you enjoy dancing or cosplaying? Let's start with uh, Makoy. May, may effect ba siya sa pag-enjoy mo ng gaming? Uh, you know, streaming every day because you have a schedule that you do it. Uh, Every four and seven PM, does it really, you know, impact your your enjoyment at all? Mm, yes, bro. Actually, dumating din ako sa point ng ane, eh, ng parang nag-enjoy pa ba ako? Kasi kahit naglalaro ko, kasi dun po masok yung agay na sabi ko kaniya na parang nadidikta na ako ng viewers ko na hindi na ako nag-enjoy. Sila na lang nag-enjoy. Parang, sure, si streaming din po. Merong kami, uh, merong kayong stats na mine maintain, merong kayong quality na mine maintain. So yun yung mga factors na pwedeng maka-apekto sa para hindi mo ma-enjoy yung ginagawa mo. Pero at the end of the day, lagi kong sinasabi sa sarili ko na ako yung naglalaro, ako yung nagpapakita sa inyo ng content ko, ako yung uh, nagbibigay ng entertainment. Kaya kailangan unang-una ako muna yung mag-enjoy bago kayo. So it follows eh. Pag nag-enjoy ako, mafeel naman nila yun eh. Pag na-feel nila nag enjoy ako, dun, dun magkakaroon ng ripple effect na magiging masaya din sila, magiging, ano yun, magiging may enjoy din nila yung content na mangyayari. Kaya yun po. Okay. Uh, what about dancing? Does it, you know, impact the way you enjoy dancing, AC? Sometimes it does. Sometimes it, it becomes a lot for me. And as a 17-year-old in this kind of business in this world, it gets pretty crazy. So sometimes I just, you know, I just need to breathe and like, I gotta talk to my mom, gotta talk to my parents. Um, but at the end of the day, I always remember that, you know, dance is truly my passion. I'm like literally in love with dancing. I could dance for hours and forget about the whole world and I'd be fine. So it just, sometimes it becomes, it turns into a job and it's not a hobby anymore. And that's, that's when it kind of like annoys me, I guess. But then I just go back and I rethink about why I got into this in the first place and who I'm trying to inspire and what are my goals in life. And then I just, it becomes, it works. It works all again. What keeps you grounded, AC? Because, you know, you're the first guest that we, we have that has like more than a million followers on Instagram. By mm -hmm. the way, I'm working my Instagram followers to, to become more <laughs> than a thousand. Uh, Jen is helping me out. So is a... Uh, Ah, si Enren, si Bebs. Bebs has like 10,000 followers, by the way, Makoy. So Bebs is helping me out. Um, but how does it, how do you keep grounded? How do you make sure that you understand your core, uh, that, you know, dancing is still something that you love doing? You know, does your family help you out? You know, do you, do you meditate? What do you do? Um, it's, it's really my parents. It's my mom. Because back in Canada, my, we did go through a really, really rough patch where, you know, we weren't earning any money. And it was, it was really hard for us. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do something. I don't want my mom to work anymore. I want to be able to do all these things. So that's, that's one of my biggest goals for the reason why I'm here in the first place, because my whole family's back in Canada. 
So I'm just trying to work my butt off so that I can, you know, give my family a better life, pretty much. Aww. Not too much. Aww. Not too much, hopefully. Okay, Chris, how about you? Um, uh, while I'm Look, shooting, while I'm shooting, yeah. <laughs> during like whole day shoots, I'm like, why am I doing this? This is so stressful because, you know, uh, as much as you love something, uh, it's still hard work to make something you're proud of. But they say, if you love something, if you do something as a job or something, you'll never work a day in your life. I feel that is not the case uh, for me. Because if you love mm-hmm. something, you'll work even harder. Mm-hmm. You'll work even harder to make it as good as possible. So when I'm filming, it gets it gets to that point. Na parang wow, this is this is my my vision of what this video is. It's kind of, it's too big for me to handle. It's like too stressful. And then when I release the video, the final product, I'm like, wow, I can't believe I did that. Like all that hard work paid off, and I I, I love I love what I'm doing because. If this is the final product and I'm uh, proud of it, you know, it's one of the best feelings. Especially with videos with Prince de Guzman who is watching. Hello, hey. Prince. Hey, Prince. Hey, Prince. Yeah, so that, 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 that's how I feel. I, I hate it first because I am really too passionate about it. Mm. And then I love it after because it... It paid off in the end. Yeah. Sometimes we forget to say how how difficult it is to produce content. That we talked about this during the last session. That there is a pre-production and a production process that can be quite grueling. It's, it's a lot of work. And in in uh, Chris's case, he has like a three-man team. How about three? Yeah. A, b- basic three-man camera crew, uh, two cam audio and and lights, and then you know, yeah. actors and my stunt guys. Yeah, and that takes about three weeks, as you said, plus the editing part. So there's a lot of work behind the scenes that people don't really see. But I guess the fulfillment comes after when, you know, the video is published, and people like it, people watch it, people share it. That's yeah. where the, the enjoyment and the fulfillment really comes from. Um, okay, let's ask some questions. Let's a- answer some questions from the audience here. Uh, Noemi uh, Azqueta what can you advise to those people who knows their talent or their potential, Paul, but they are afraid to show what they have because they are afraid of being judged by others? Let's oh ask God. AC. Because, you know, bashers are everywhere. Um, you know, it's very difficult to really put yourself out there. Sabi ko, hey, Bevs, Bevs, I can never do what you're doing with spoken poetry. It's too vulnerable. Na in love sa tropa. Saying that to a whole, I don't know, baka si ba yung tropa niyo doon sa video na yun. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I, I cannot do that, but how do you, how do you make sure that you know, um, you you uh, you, do you have a mask that you wear? You know, para become a judge at mabash. Ano ginagawa go away? Um, so I did go through that phase where I was getting bashed a lot, and that was when I was like thirteen or fourteen. So I couldn't handle it. So I was crying a lot, and I was I was like trying to just just trying to get away from social media. And I still do get it now, but I've learned to block it out because at the end of the day, there's like, what, five, ten bashers, but there's like a hundred people who are supporting you and love what you're doing. So do what, do your talent, do whatever you're doing for those hundred people. And eventually those ten people will just get jealous and eventually start supporting you. So it it really just depends who you want to do it for. Pretty much. Uh, how about Chris? Chris, do you get bashed or do you get judged for your content? Dude, that's like that's been my life. <laughs> for, for, and at the start, um, I couldn't imagine why, uh, like these themes of like superheroes and Power Rangers and all these geeky stuff would would create so much hate. I mean, it's such a positive uh, show or something. Really, and uh, 
as time went by, I uh, I just used this magical magical tool called blocking. <laughs> it's the best. I don't even I I don't even know who is saying all these bad stuff. I don't even read the name because if I don't know the name, I won't care. So once I read it, palang block. Okay, I don't know who you are, who you were to me. You just you just went past me, and I'm fine. And what I love about YouTube is that you can uh, uh, assign words that once it pops up on your comments, it won't be published at all. So you mga mura, you mga all that. So sometimes I just uh, go to that folder, the I guess the the hidden words folder, and I'm like, oh my god, all this profanity. But I'm like, you know. It, if you don't see it, uh, I feel if you don't see it, it won't make you uh, feel bad. That's why I like the, uh, uh, what do you call that? The, the specific words that are banned. But yeah. some people don't know L, so it gets through. Pa. Some people miss a C from the FU, <laughs> and it still goes through. But I know what he's talking about, even without the C. So, you know. But just like, just like what AC said, it's like, the noisiest people are the fewest. Yeah. And uh, your supporters are like times 100 to that one. So, that, okay. that's how I feel. Ang hirap maging sikat talaga. Um, Makoy, how about you? Ano ginagawa mo sa mga bashers? Sa mga bashers po, usually sa stream, uh, hindi sila nawawala as in nandiyan lang sila lagi para hatakin ka talaga. Uh, actually, ini-ignore lang talaga eh. Parang ignore yung pinaka, ano eh, pinaka-tool mo. Pero namang ban. Pero alam mo yun, kasi mabilis yung pagkakataon na makakabalik at makakabalik sila. Merong, meron pa nga this time, meron pa nga time na ano, there's this big uh, streamer na hindi ko alam bakit kami nagkaroon ng beef. Then, he's huge. Sobrang laki niya. As in, uh, 1,500 viewers. Then suddenly... Uh, nag-drop sa akin ng 500 viewers just to bash me, just to attack. Oh my, oh my God. Talaga sobrang, para sa akin, what? Ginawa ako sa'yo, man. Parang ganun. Ginawa ako, talk to my managers, talk to my, uh, syempre, shout out to my beloved girlfriend. Hello po, Beverly. I love you. Yun lang. Parang kailangan meron kang <laughs> strong support support system. Eh. Yun kasi yung pinaka-secret secret ko talaga on creating content. Dapat meron kang strong support system na kagaya ng mga uh, special someone sa'yo. Tsaka huwag mo kakalimutan may mga kaibigan ka na pwede mong kausapin lagi. Yun, yun po yung ginagawa, ginagawa ko para makapag-cope dun sa mga kung merong bashers. Pero sa ngayon, wala naman na. Thank God. I can see. I can see AC's brother um, <laughs> in the background. Because <laughs> <laughs> he came out of nowhere. your brother to work day. How about Damien? Is Damien up? living with you as well? Uh, 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 no, he lives... He lives in the the house where I shoot. That's where my sister lives. Uh, uh, yeah. I love it when kids are in the videos. Um, <laughs> Same. Okay. I think, Jello, we have, we have a question from uh, the audience here. Can you read that for us? Yes. Um, we have a question. What did they have to work hard for to support their hobbies? So, my guests. Namin. For example, did Chris have to exercise and trained to be in shape for his Power Ranger characters. May, may training ba na naganap? Like, how, how do you prepare for that? Like a Marvel superhero training that you have oh. to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> background, since, because I saw the question already, this is what I looked like before. Yo! Whoa. Shout I out, Ateneo! That. Ateneo, shout Blow out. up! The okay. Ateneo. <laughs> so, uh, talagang, that's why I decided to get that first Power Ranger costume. Because Power Ranger costumes are spandex. And spandex? <laughs> not nice. <laughs> if you're si not Felix, fit. Si Felix. Even, <laughs> even if you're... Because at that time, uh, I was not as big as in college. I was thinner na. But, you know, when you're wearing spandex, uh, even if you feel you're thin, there, there's a thing called the, uh, what do you call that? 
So parang like fat thin because you're thin here but you have a big belly. So that's what I had before. And that is true. I actually had to work out uh, just so that wearing the costumes would feel much, uh, I mean, it would look a bit better. But you know what? I, I don't see my, I, I haven't seen myself as a cosplayer for many years now. Like, uh, I just didn't correct you guys. I, I, I see myself talaga as a YouTube content creator because I feel it's such a, it's, if to call myself a cosplayer, I feel is, is, uh, I don't know, uh, for the other cosplayers who make their costumes, who really put effort into their craft, I don't do it because I buy those costumes. And even now, because I have a stunt team, all my past costumes, I wear, I have uh, my stunt guys wear them. So I have a stunt double for me. So I haven't worn a costume for a long time. So talagang, it, uh, I, used to, I, I used to call myself a cosplayer before, but when I really got into uh, creating videos like this, it kind of shifted into, uh, like I guess, filmmaker. But I use cosplay as a means to create stories. And creating stories is what I like to be known for. But yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, still, I still get uh, called to be a cosplayer, but I'm na, ako when someone calls me a cosplayer because I, I am not as good as the other cosplayers like Alodia who, who make their own stuff. It's like I'm not as talented as that. What I, I, what I can provide to the world uh, is the, the stories that I produce. Kumbaga. But yeah. Okay. We're running out of time. Uh, it's one minute past five o'clock. Uh, I really would love to actually ask more questions and you know, really maximize the time we have together with our guests today. But unfortunately, we have to wrap up. Uh, let's go through each guest and find out from them some tips. Now, what are life hacks that you can share with other content creators uh, that they can use after you know after they watch this webinar. Um, let's start with Makoy. Ano mga life hacks mo for game streamers uh, out there? Uh, be natural as you are. Wag kang uh, wag da wag kang uh, gagaya. Wag na wag kang uh, siguro pwede kang manood. Never never get content from others. Wag na wag mong gagawin yon. Kung ano yung personality mo, mamahalin ng tao yon. Kung saan ka nag enjoy lagi mong tatandaan, basta mag-enjoy ka muna, mag-enjoy din yung mga manonood sa'yo. Ma- ma- normal na magsimula ka sa zero, dumaan din ako dyan, honestly. Mm-hmm. Dumaan lahat dyan, walang, uh, walang easy way in, papunta dun sa top. Kaya push mo lang ng i-push, laban mo lang ng laban. Yun lang po. Okay. AC, any tips? Um, I guess one is just, Make sure you love what you're doing and set a big, big goal and then set little goals in between. So you're, there's a road, there's a pavement to where you want to go. And just like Kuya Makoy said, just be yourself. Great. Chris? Um, ditto with every, everything that everyone said. But I, I, so yeah, I would say don't go into this for the money. Because wow, uh, okay. everyone, everyone who asked me, I want to be a YouTuber. Why? Because I want to make money. All of those people who told me that, after like a month of really putting all their, they're buying all this equipment, but they're just starting out. After a month or two, boom, you don't see them anymore. Because their main focus is looking at their analytics. How much did I earn? How much did I earn? How much did I earn? I didn't even know you can earn from YouTube after like eight months of doing it like full-time for me, like like a, like a super passionate. And then someone told me, hey man, you know you, you do know you can just press this button that says monetize. I'm like, what? So I tell that story because uh, every person I feel who is successful in anywhere, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, is if there's the, the passion is there. And I'm I'm happy to say that for me, that the passion was always there. I'm super geek, like I love all these uh, franchises. So that really got me going creating content every week, not 
because there's like money pala after. All right. So thank you, Chris. Yeah, that is true. I just want to thank, oh, we're running out of time. I just want to thank all of the speakers for joining our show today on our hashtag Adobe's University. Makoy, Chris, AC, thank you so much. I know you guys are busy, even if you guys are on quarantine, you know, creating content, the grind, the hustle, you know, it never stops. And I just want everyone to remember that um, our takeaway from this is to just continue to do what you love. Um, whether you're passionate about certain things, whether that's lifestyle, dancing, you know, even if it's TikTok or gaming or sports, keep doing what you do. And just, you know, if you just stay true to your purpose as to why you do certain things, it just makes everything clear that all the hate, all the bad vibes are just completely noise. So you don't have to listen to that and just know that what you're doing uh, has the potential to inspire everyone, whether not just in society, but all, or, all around the world, actually. So yeah, um, I'd like to promote our next webinar series, guys, sa mga lahat na manunood. May 27 na po yan, next Wednesday at 4 p.m. Yung topic po namin next Wednesday ay 1 million subs, hashtag, sana all. <laughs> How to grow your subscribers online. So matutunan po natin yan next Wednesday at 4 p.m. So yan, I'd like to also invite everyone to please uh, watch the replay videos that we have of our webinar series online that is on Facebook and on YouTube. And to do that, you can subscribe to Adobe Studios with, um, subscribe to Adobe Studios FB page, which is Adobe Studios ABS-CBN and YouTube channel Adobe Studios. You can also follow us on Twitter and on Instagram that is at Adobe studios so we'll see you guys next wednesday and once again thank you to the guests for joining us we really appreciate it and we learned thank so much you. from you guys thank, and you, thank you so much everybody watching. yeah i would like to ask uh Uh, yeah, if if you like geeky stuff and you wa like watching superheroes and Power Rangers and some kitty stuff, please do subscribe Chris Cantada Forest on YouTube. Forest is not my last name. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> Makoy? Uh, hello po, pwede po kayo manood sa aking uh, Facebook gaming channel fb.gg slash makoygalop11. nag stream po ako daily every 8 or 9pm. Mahala na kayo, alam niyo na po yan. Maraming maraming salamat sa mga solid uh, kapanga po natin dyan, sa mga solid alianatics, so solid valerian, solid kalipa family. Thank you, thank you so much. You can subscribe with my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash makoygalop11. Thank you po. Thank you, makoy. AC? Um, you can... Subscribe to my YouTube, Andre Bunny Fascio. I'm uploading tonight at 7 p.m. so you can check it out. My TikTok is Andre Bunny Fascio and my Instagram is AC Bunny Fascio. Great. Jello? Oh, yes. Okay. I totally What's forgot. It? Okay. Uh, to everyone watching, you can follow me on Instagram. That is at Jello Ben Camino. And you can also uh, subscribe to me on YouTube for lifestyle and travel vlogs. That is at Jello Ben Camino. So we'll see you guys there. And thank you for watching, guys. Chase, Thank you, everybody. You want to promote something also? <laughs> yeah. Again, follow me on Instagram, NY Chase. Road to 1,000 followers. Yun lang pong ko sa sa inyo lahat. Um, no, I'm just joking, by the way. Uh, again, thank you for joining us this afternoon. I hope you learned from our guests. Please join us again next Wednesday at 4 p.m. for our next topic. And with that, please keep well and have a great rest of the day. Bye, everybody. Bye. It's morphing time.